Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Taylor Hazleton and today I'll be showing you how to do niche research for your Amazon KDP business. Before we get started, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I appreciate all the support so much and feel free to check out any of my other YouTube videos. And if you're interested, I'll have a link to my Facebook group in the description below, which is for any of your KDP business questions or comments or anything that you would like to post about, please feel free to join that. And I'll also have some free templates listed in there as well. All right, let's get started. So niche research is something that can take a little while to learn and figure out what books you want to create and where. This is definitely really important for your KDP business because if you don't have a good niche that is profitable or that you can compete in, then you most likely aren't going to succeed. Obviously, there are some cases where you'll be super successful, and that's perfectly fine. That's amazing. Uh, but usually, you have to do some pretty good research in order to find a niche that will be good for your business. For example, the niche for unicorn books is very popular, like unicorn notebooks. So if you just create a generic unicorn notebook, you probably won't make any sales since it is highly competitive. However, if you niche down and do something like Unicorn Notebooks for children ages 5 to 10 or whatever, Amazon shows up to be a popular search, and there isn't a lot of competition. I'm not sure if what I just said has a lot of competition, just doing a random example. Then that would be Unicorn Notebook you could use, and you'd have a keyword and a niche that would be perfect for your business. So there are a couple of different ways to do this. One way is just to think of random things off the top of your head or if you're talking to people and they're like man like I really wish I had a notebook for my symptoms or I wish I had a notebook for uh, playing tennis or something like that uh, you can always listen to people around you and if anything sort of sparks your interest then you can research it and see if it would be a good niche to get into. So one way to do this is going to google.com and doing and just typing in notebook for and then putting in a letter. So you can start at any point in the alphabet, you can start at A or just hit random letters. So putting M in, you see this whole list of different notebook options. Notebook for men, math, meetings, music. So I put in something else. Notebook for passwords, notebook for phone. Um, let's see, notebook for language learning. Um, notebook for therapists, notebook for teachers. So these are different search results that people are actually searching. So this can give you ideas as well. Notebook for tracking bills, budget trackers, things like that are very popular. Notebook for recipes. Recipe books are relatively easy to make depending on what you're doing. So I think for this video, that's what we're going to go off of. So after I do Doodle research, if I use that, I'll go to Amazon. And again, you could do the same thing here in Amazon. You could do notebook for and then type in a letter and see what shows up. So you have notebook for real estate agents, recipes, refrigerator. I'm not really sure what you would do for the refrigerator. Uh, notebook for reading books. There's so many different things. Notebook for random thinking. I have the AMZ uh, expander, which is how I'm getting all of these other suggestions here. And I'll also have a link for that in the description below. It is free to download off of the Chrome extensions and I highly, highly recommend it. So let's just do notebook for recipes. Let's see what that looks like for competition. So we have 8,000 results as you see in the top left here. So that's honestly too many for me. I try to find ones that are under a thousand and that have pretty good BSR ratings. I have an extension as well that shows me the BSR ratings of the books. So like this one is 4,000, which is incredible. I try to find niches that have under 1,000 search results and under 100,000 or around there for BSR, as that tends to be pretty good sales. But sometimes, even if the BSRs that aren't that good, but it seems to be low competition, I might make a book anyways. Um, but that's my personal preference. Figure out what works best for you and how you'd like to do it. So and now I need to niche down because I think 8,000 is just way too much. So I'm going to think of other stuff that we could do, and the um, suggestions that pop up when I'm typing in are definitely helpful for this. And you can also change words around. So instead of doing notebook for recipes, I'm going to change it to recipe notebook for. And once I type that in, I'm going to see what it is suggesting for me. 
So let's just give it a minute to load. I'm just going to make a brand new tab since it seems to be a little bit slow for some reason. So once this loads, I'm going to type in a recipe notebook for, and then as soon as that loads, it's going to pop up from my suggestion expander and it's going to show me a bunch of different options. And it'll just take a little bit to load. Sometimes all of these extensions do slow my computer down, which is just perfectly fine. So these are the normal suggestions popping up, not from my extension, but that's fine too. So it says recipe notebook for men, for own recipes, for beginners, for kids, for baking, for chefs. There are so many different options. I'm going to do recipe notebook for my mom and see what comes up here. Okay, perfect. So we have 480 results, which is awesome. That's below the 1,000 that I like to see. And this just means that it's less competition, so you have a better chance of getting on the first few pages rather than being hundreds of pages down and you might not get your book ever seen unless you run ads or something like that. So now I'm just going to scroll down and I'm going to check the BSRs. So this first row, ranked not found, usually that means it hasn't sold or it's just not loading. Second row, 208,000. These are in the millions, but I like the 208,000. That is a pretty good VSR. I'm going to scroll down some more. 67,000, 31,000. Okay, so these have some really good VSR ratings. As you can see, this one is to, says to my daughter, would love from my kitchen. So this is to a daughter instead of a mom, which what we searched for was recipe notebook for my mom. So um, all these different results are coming up. They may have keywords associated with this or somehow it is just linked, but these will also give you other ideas. Recipes for my daughter, recipes for my son, and you can check the BSRs and see how they are doing. So honestly, I think this is a great niche to get into. It has really low BSRs. This keyword has very low competition. So, I, and these recipe books aren't really that hard to make, thankfully. So I think this would be a great one to get into, and this is exactly how I do my own research. Sometimes I mix it up, but basically this is one of my processes on how I would go about it. And in case you're not sure what size book to do or things like that, um, you can just select any one of these. So this one was independently published, which usually means it's from Amazon KDP, has a great BSR, published 2019. But I'll just scroll down here and it says the print length, the dimensions, this is an 8x10 with 100 pages. So in case you're not sure what size to do it, you can check out some of the best selling books and see what they do for pages and size. You can also do the look inside feature and see what they used for an interior. Definitely want to make it your own. You don't want to be copying people, but look how simple this interior is. Honestly, like it's, it's not that difficult to make and you can edit it and make it your own. Or in case you don't want to make it from scratch, Bookful is an amazing resource to use. This is a paid service. I don't currently have the paid version. They do have a lot of free options as well. So if you go to resources and then go to interior wizard, just let that load. And then you go to free KDP no content book interiors, interior wizard. I'll just click on that. And then it pops up this whole interior generator and it has plenty of options. As you can see, some of them are for members only but they do have plenty of free options. And if you scroll down a bit, they do have one for a recipe book right here. You can take that, you can upload it into Canva or some sort of other editor and you can change things around and make it your own. It's just incredible. You can do different page counts, different sizes, bleed or no bleed. I do have a video on bleed versus no bleed in case you're interested in that. For a recipe book, I think it'd be fine to do no bleed, but you could definitely do bleed in case you are interested. It basically means if it will print um, past the margins or not, so if it will go all the way to the ends of the pages or not. So this is how I do my niche research, and this is how you can find interiors that are free to download and use. I really hope that this was helpful. I know it can be overwhelming when you're unsure what to create. So I hope this will sort of give you some ideas and pique your creativity. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feedback, please feel free to comment them below. It means so much to me. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.